Hello Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I've already unboxed these knives. They're already out in the pouch, so you don't have to watch me unbox them, but I hope you're having a fantastic day. Wait till you see these knives and the last one is going to blow your freaking mind. But I'm having a great day and I'm telling you what, Artisan, oh my goodness. One of these is a new version of a knife, but the other ones are brand new and we're going to get into them right now. If you're not familiar with with Artisan Cutlery, I'm sure you're familiar with CJRB, right? And this comes with a little thingy and a nice uh, cloth, but this is the parent company, if you will, to CJRB Knives. I know a lot of folks have a CJRB Pyrite or one of the Pyrites or one of the CJRBs or the Mylea, but this is one, oh yeah, look at this. This is the Artisan Prime. I'm Artisan Prime. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> Autobots, no. Okay, back to the knife. Look at this, beautiful micarta. There's three or four different versions of this one. You can get the fancy, Mr. Fancy Pants versions. I really like the idea of this micarta. Check that out. And if there, if, I will have links in the comment section that will take you to all of these knives. Some of them aren't at the same place. So I'll put links down there where you can find them at different places. And look at this, look at that milling. Oh yeah, a little bit of texture milling, a texture milling, <laughs> texture vision on that milling. And wait till you see this blade. And yeah, this is S90V, baby. Are you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, look at that. This knife is really good. I mean, it's really, really good. It has that harpoon-esque blade shape and it has that modified sheep's foot looking going on. And this actually does work. It comes in handy. Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. Who, what show is that from? Quick trivia. This right here actually works very well for doing a little bit of everyday carry. You know, this is an every, these are all everyday carry folding pocket knives for folks that want a little finer materials. S90V blade steel. This is a frame lock. Your cutout is on this side for the relief. It has a milled titanium clip. These are all really good. And then what does it say? It says artisan cutlery up there. This is a TSK design, by the way. Let me back out just a little bit, just for a little bit more room. And if you watch my videos, you know the size of my hand. I have large width hands. It's very comfortable in the hand. It has that thinner, it has the more slender profile. It's a Mr. Fancy Pants. And then this, this dude, I, I thought it looked a little weird and I imagine you might be able to use that on a ferro rod, but it is chamfered, so I don't know that it's going to be too useful on a ferro rod, and I don't know a lot of people that buy the more premium knives like this the, for bush crafting, but the action, the ergos, the fit, the finish, all very nice. There's no side to side, no up and down blade play, and then you can see right here, it has good lockup, and then the centering is phenomenal. This is a beautiful freaking knife. In the hand, it feels very good. Now, there is a nitpick, just a small nitpick. I can feel this edge right here. See this edge of the pocket clip? I can feel it, but I don't think I'm ever gonna be using this for hard use. Holding it regular, just for regular cutting, if I'm cutting up fruit or cutting up a couple boxes or something like that, the ergos are really good. They work well. There's adequate pass-through, there's just enough, and it works well. I don't have to dig my thumb. It has just enough grab on that lock bar for me to unlock it very easily. Very nice. I love this knife. This is the Artisan Prime. I totally love it. Now from tip to tip, it's seven inches, 179 millimeters. It has a four inch closed length. 103 millimeters. Your blade is a three inch blade, 76 millimeters. The blade finish is a sand polish. I like everything about this. This is definitely one I'll be carrying. The finish, the fit, the action, the ergos, I like everything about this knife. I'd say you're gonna get what you pay for with this. The thumb studs, they're a little, little tingy, <laughs> but they work very well. They grab my skin and make it so easy to deploy. And then the reverse flick, super easy. You can reverse flick this all day because you have all that room for your finger to get underneath there and just flick it out. So there you go, the Artisan Prime. Now this next one, I told you it's not unboxing. That's just because I'm not spending time talking about the packaging or anything like that. I have not handled this knife. I've not seen it in person. And uh, let's get this out. Where's the knife? Okay, look at the lens here. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. This knife is not nearly as large as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, that's why you watch knife reviews, right? And if you watch my review and I say things about a knife, go watch another review before you make your decision. Some reviewers notice things, some of them have different nitpicks. I will say one thing, I did not know this knife was gonna be so small. This is the Artisan Cutlery Clio. 
would you look at it? Just look at it. So if you're looking for a smaller size pocket knife, uh, here's the Penguin. Just to give you a quick size comparison. That's what it looks like next to the QSP Penguin. It's not a big one at all, but boy, oh boy, I do like that texture. Look at that. A little bit of texture vision for you. And ooh, it feels good. It's not aggressive. So that's not gonna be too bad on your pocket. You have a 3D milled pocket clip and, oh, look at that. Artisan using their smarts. It's a reversible clip. And what's the blade steel on this? This one has S90V blade steel. Speaking of which, let's get the blade out. Pow, right in the kisser. This looks similar to one of the first knives I ever got. This one's reminding me of the Pilar. Wow, it's almost like a very fancy pants versions of the Pilar. And this is a plunge lock. Let's see, no movement, left or right, up and down, it's very solid. Plunge lock feels like it has good lockup, has big old thumb studs, and oh, okay. So even though I have wide width hands, I have plenty of room because of being able to choke up the ear with this choil area and there's no back flipper in the way. You have all kinds of real estate right there to get in. Oh, wow, okay. Even though it's this small, if you have large width hands, you still have plenty of room to use this for an everyday carry. Wow. The action, very smooth. Can I reverse flick it? Oh yeah, reverse flick all day long. Oh my gosh, this is very nice. Now, if you want the numbers, this bad boy from tip to tip is 5.9 inches, 150 millimeters. Closed, it's 3.4 inches, and your blade is a two and a half inch blade. It's not a big boy, but I tell you what, when I first felt it, I was like, oh, I don't already don't, you know, I get first impressions within five seconds of a knife usually because I've handled quite a few knives. This is better than I expected once I uh, got it out of the box and checked it out. Very nice. So the Artisan Cutlery Clio. We'll talk about this one on the live stream. And you know what? This is going to be a carrier. I'm very impressed. Uh, there's a little bit of jimping back here on the spine. That jimping, um, it's pretty much there for looks. It serves no purpose. My, my thumb just kind of slides across it. So the, the jimping is pretty much just for looks. I'm not getting grippage out of the jimpage. But wow, that's a pretty cool one. All right, let's get the next one out. This next one, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time because the one after this is, oh my gosh, it is mind blowing. This one, I've shown another variant. This is a new variant. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, <laughs> check this out. This is a new variant of the Artisan Cutlery Limited Edition Revel. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its revelness. Now that's a, that's a very neat milling. Let's see, oh, feels very nice. It is not rough. It's just enough where you can just feel that texture. It gives you a little bit of that, ooh, ooh, Mr. Fancy Pants. Look at this. It is a frame lock. It's a Ray Laconico design. I already can tell you that I like this knife. Pow, right in the kisser. An elongated, oh my goodness. I already spit on it. It's an elongated, uh, <laughs> what do you call that? An elongated clip point. That's just what I call them when it's a clip point, but it goes way back like this. Let's take a look at this side. Look at that. And oh, by the way, one of the things that makes this a limited edition, this is in CPM MagnaCut, baby. Oh yeah, we're talking Primo Steel, Ray Laconico design, which means what? It means we're gonna be a little bit more on the thinner side. And there's your Artisan Cutlery. This one, I don't have to tell you anything extra or search for answers because I carry my other one. And I can tell you, this is a fantastic knife. If you like a thinner knife, if you like premium materials, it has great pass through. It has a nice, it has really nice grab right here. Just enough where your finger doesn't slide off and you don't have to push really hard. It's, how's the action? Yeah, the action is really good. Oh yeah, just nice slow roller, very thin. It's not a heavy, heavy knife. From tip to tip, this bad boy is 8.1 inches. So it's not a big knife. Closed, it's 4.5 inches. You have a 3.54 inch blade that's sand polished and I just can't get over the fact that it's magna cut. Now this one, you're gonna pay a premium price for a premium knife, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. I mean, you can look up here and check out See there where your plunge grind ends, how much room you have for sharpening. I, I have the feeling that people that have this knife aren't gonna be doing a ton of sharpening on it anyway. But you know, some folks, they spend the premium money because they want a premium knife and they carry a premium knife and they use it in a premium fashion. <laughs> 
Did I just, how many, if you're playing a drinking game right now, don't use the word premium because I say premium a lot in this video. All right, now for the coup de gras, let's get out this one. Now this bad boy, this one I'm kind of the most excited about because wait till you see this. Oh, there's a brand new series by Artisan Cutlery. It is the Wizard series. And these were designed by Dustin Rhodes. And there's like three, maybe four different versions. This particular version is just, oh, it is good to go. I'm telling you, look at this. This is the Artisan Cutlery Mage. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And this whole series by Dustin Rhodes they are all gorgeous. There are, there's like three or four different ones. I'll probably at some point put them across the screen so you can see what they look like. Now, you know, sometimes there's pre-orders and things like that, or sometimes there's the, the GoFundMe or what do you call it? Kickstarters things. These are already funded. If you order one, you're going to get it. So look at this. Here's this side. It is a reversible clip. Look at that. This is Timascus. Timascus clip. Timascus inlays, just look at it. Timascus all the way around your pivot, beautiful pivot collar, both sides. And look at this, Timascus for your backspacer. Timascus everywhere, it's, it's multiple layers of titanium. Look at that, can you see it? This is a absolutely gorgeous knife. I am impressed by this knife. I'm, spoiler alert, I love this knife. I've had it out, I've carried it and it is Beautiful. I love the feel of it. I like how it feels in my hand. I love the blade shape. Look at the blade. Oh my gosh. The blade is so good. And look at it in my hand. Just, oh, <laughs> it melts in your hand. And they are not as expensive as I expected when I opened and I saw this knife and I felt it. I was like, oh, I don't even want to know what this costs. But I do know this. I went on the website. And right now, the people that get in on it early, there's they're like 30% off. I would say if you like a premium knife with premium materials, that you're going to want to get in on this. It is, it's S90V. It's a drop point from tip to tip. It's 7.64 inches, three and a half inch blade with the flat grind. That you could also get one of these. It's called the Magna Mage and it's in Magna Cut. And then there's the Enchanter that is way decked out. But this thing... Has, I mean, there's no blade play left or right, up or down. It has really good jimping. There's a look at your jimping. This one, jimping done right. And let's see, does it show the blade steel on this one? Oh, look at that. S90V, baby. But I, I'm just, I don't have to go over and check things. It has good fit. It has good finish. It has good action. It has good ergos. It, has, it is a plunge lock. It is a front flipper. And it also has thumb studs. The thumb studs work great. The front flipper works great. The front flipper, the jimping on the front flipper, I, I, you know, I really wish they could have put one more jimping up here, but that's just a personal preference. It's not a nitpick because there's enough aggression on that jimping where my finger does not come off of it. And I'm not even a big front flipper fan. I usually, when it's a front flipper, I usually use a different method to open the knife, like reverse flick like that, or the button, the button lock on this works fantastic. But if you're wanting to get a Mr. Fancy Pants, look at this. I just got to show you this Timascus one more time. Look at that. It just looks so good. It's pocket jewelry. Some folks are like, I'd never pay that much. I wouldn't carry a knife like that. Well, then that means this knife's not for you. This is for knife enthusiasts that get knives for more than just the fact that they have good materials, but also for the aesthetics. This one is aesthetically pleasing. Hand this to any guy and they're, well, most guys. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Dan might be like, yeah, that looks like a pretty little knife you got there. But <laughs> I mean, if you're a knife enthusiast, you're, you're just going to say, I can't help but stare at it. It's just such a good looking knife. And I'll give you a piece of advice. The links are got down in the comment section and in the description of this video, right? On this particular knife, when you click on the link, I'm going to tell you something that won't scare you away. You're like, where do I see the different versions? And this is what I did. This is what I do. And I, I learned for you so you don't have to, is when you go look at this particular, when you go on this link and check this out, it looks like a GoFundMe. It's already funded. It's already happening. There'll be a button that says back me or back this knife or whatever. You're not paying any money. That's how you actually get to see the options of what they are. So when you go to check out the mage and all the other different versions of this, of the wizard series, you click on back it and then you can see the different options 
options because there's a bunch of different options. You can get the Magna Cut, the different, the different steels, the different handles and all that good stuff. But oh my gosh, this is for gorgeous knives from artisan cutlery their knives are so good all of these are more slender my favorite definitely of all four of these is definitely the new mage it is it is just a gents carry it feels so incredibly smooth in the hand there's no hot spots i like the way it feels i like the way it looks i like everything about it it's not just because it's pretty it's because if i had never seen the knife with my with my eyes and i had this in my hand i would say oh what is that just because it feels so good. So let me know which one of these is your favorite. You never know when we're gonna give one away. Every Friday night, Bees Blades live at the Hive. Oh, right, we give knives just like these away. That's not the reason for the live stream. We have a lot of fun. We talk about knives and snacks and all kinds of fun stuff and cheese. And <laughs> we have a blast and it's four hours and that's where we discuss knives, flashlights, and everyday carry gear that have been on the channel. So come hang out. And after you tell me which one of these is your favorite, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Then you'll know a half an hour before the live stream starts. Now go watch this video. You'll really enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive stream on Fridays, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.